Thank you, Tom. <clears throat> Thank you all for being here. We had uh, a number of members of Congress who had to take planes, trains, and automobiles to make it to the Hill this week. So uh, lots of weather, lots of challenges, but we're glad everybody's back to work. Uh, this week, as has been mentioned, we have, will have hundreds of thousands of Americans who will also brave the weather and come here to Washington for the annual March for Life. And we're excited to welcome them here. Uh, we'll take this week, uh, as we do each year, to remember the value of every single human life and reiterate what we boldly proclaimed in our nation's birth certificate, that all men are created equal, all people are, and all life is sacred, and that governments are instituted to protect the rights given to us by our creator. That's what our, our nation's birth certificate says. We believe that it's important to stand by families during unplanned pregnancies, and you heard uh, my colleagues here this morning articulate some of that. We want to make it easier for working mothers and, and moms and dads to start and raise a family. And that's why House Republicans are voting on two pieces of legislation this week. You just heard them described here briefly. The Supporting Pregnant and uh, Parenting Women and Families Act and the Pregnant Students' Rights Act. Across the country, uh, these pregnancy resource centers are doing heroic work. They're helping moms and, and dads, especially low-income parents, as they deal with the realities of pregnancy and the challenges of raising children. Across the country, state governments rely on these centers to provide life-changing emotional and material support, and that's support that empowers parents to bring their children into the world. We want to make sure those centers continue and can continue to serve families in every state and are not needlessly cut out of the funding process by the Biden administration. And you heard exactly what's happening here with TANF funds and the rest. We also want to make sure that moms who are in college aren't presented with the false choice of being a mom or being a student. If an expecting mom is pursuing her degree, we want to make sure that, that uh, she knows that all the resources available to her so she can continue her studies, finish her degree while caring for her child. And those resources and that support is out there. House Republicans will continue to show the American people that we not only are a voice for the most vulnerable, we also want to take action to protect them and their families. With that, uh, open it up for questions. Chad. Thank you. 